In this video I'm going to show you how you can make changes to your render while your render is rendering. Hey there, Rocco here. If this is your first time on my channel, then welcome. If you've been around before, then welcome back. Either way, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell down below, as there's going to be some good stuff coming soon, and you don't really want to miss any of it, do you? Right, okay, imagine the scene. You set off a render, and you wander away to go make yourself a cup of tea, or a coffee, or you need to go to the loo, whichever it is that you need to do. And then you come back two hours later because you know it was a good coffee, wasn't it? Or you know, but and you look at your render and you think, eh, you know what? I think I should have done a little bit more with that. It's a bit dark, it's a bit dowdy, and I just wasted two hours rendering this. And so what you do, you take your, your mouse point and you go down to cancel and you well actually just stop right there. You don't necessarily need to cancel. Not quite. Some things maybe, but, but not all things. Let's say we just want to brighten her up a little bit while it's rendering. All we need to do is we need to come across to this side of the screen and this little knobbly bit there that my mouse is pointing at. Now I'll be honest with you, I've used Daz for 10 years. I only found out about a couple of years back that this was here. I don't know how long it's been in Daz. Uh, I must have just missed it when it got introduced. So we come along to this little knobbly bit right here and we give it a click and a panel pops out and it's a panel that's very similar to the render settings panel back in your main DAS interface. If we click on progressive render we get some things there that we can play around with. You know we can extend the number of samples or, or shorten it if we wish or the amount of time. Uh, we can change the rendering quality. You know little things that you find in the render settings. If we come down onto filtering uh, we can play around with our denoiser if you want to use the denoiser. Uh, you know, maybe we want to check at this point what the denoiser's, you know, the, the denoised image would look like if we set it up. We can do that. Uh, or we can come down to tone mapping and we can change the way our image looks because tone mapping is just the, you know, this the things in this tone mapping section. These are just little post processing things that Daz does, so you can change these on the fly. So maybe we want to change how bright the image looks because it looks a bit dark and dowdy so if we give that a click and then we say six and then we let uh, Daz get to the next time it writes the canvas which will be a moment or two if it happens it should happen very shortly it brightens the image a little bit let's say we want to go a little bit further brighten it a little bit more now again let Daz get to the next time it writes uh, to the canvas and it'll brighten the image even more. There we go. Looking a bit better now, looking a bit more lively. What else can we do? We can do all sorts of things. Let's say we, uh, oh, is there anything on there we want to do? I don't know. Let's say we want to come back up to filter and let's say we want to add a bit of bloom into this. We'll click the bloom and let's say 0.35. Let's have a look, see what that looks like. Anything happening, Dad? Are you going to do anything? Are you going to do anything, Daz? Wow, there we go. We've changed that during the render to give us a completely different image and brightened our render up. So we don't have to cancel and mess about. All of a sudden, Cinderella can go to the ball and she's all bright and breezy. And we've all done that during the render and while it's rendering. We don't always have to hit cancel if things don't look as good as what we want them to be because we forgot. So there you go, a little quick video just to show that you can play around with these settings uh, on the fly with renders, if I can click the button. Uh, it's just that little knobbly bit over there that a lot of people have missed, and I know a lot of people have missed that. Uh, so there you go, make changes on the fly during your renders by pressing that little knobbly bit. If you've liked this video and got found it useful, then please hit the like button down below it'd be a really really appreciated uh as i've already mentioned if you want to see more videos like this make sure you hit subscribe and the little notification bell down below because we don't want you to miss anything and finally if you've got any questions about this video or about daz in general drop them in the comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i possibly can that's it for now i shall see you later and bye bye for now